Walk into the boat. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. January we're go 1st. Flush the water tanks or the uh, water maker. Well, first, we're going to check the boat still there. We had a huge windstorm last night <laughs> for New Year's Eve. 60 mile an hour gusts. So we just got to make sure that the boat's there. I so. think the boat's there. I think what we're probably missing are the screens that snap on the outside for the windows. Yeah. I mean, well, we'll find out. But um, we're walking. It's about two and a half mile walk. Here we got to burn off some of the calories from last night. Detox a little bit. So it should take us about 20, well, actually, what, it's about 35 minute walk. Yeah. Or four minute drive. So <laughs> we need the exercise. We're being good for ourselves and we're doing the, the walking thing. So we'll give you an update once we get there. up on Magnolia Bridge. This joins Seattle to the hill, hilltop neighborhood known as Magnolia. Off to our port side, the left side. All the fishing vessels are in for the winter. This is actually where we also have all the cruise ships stay during the summer months. So all these fishing vessels are replaced with cruise ships. So in the distance there you can see Elliott Bay Marina. That's where we're headed. Should be there in just a few more minutes. made it to the marina. We're on the uh, east side of the marina. This is our old dock. Yeah, this is LMN, 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 LM and N. Easy for you to say. <laughs> hey, it's New Year's Day, what do you want? And uh, our new slip is all the way on the We're in a. west side of the marina now, so we still have probably another quarter mile to a third of a mile to walk across the marina. It's one of the largest marinas on the west coast, privately owned. And uh, we absolutely love it. The facilities here at Elliott Bay Marina are fantastic. Um, no complaints. Secured. Bathroom facilities are great. The showering facilities are great. Too bad they don't allow liveaboards. Yeah, we'd love to live aboard here, but they kind of cut that out. So this is definitely one of the marinas that we're still we're still trying to work it with the owners, but you know, if they uh, let one do it, then they have to let everybody do it. So, in fact, we just heard that they sent out letters to three liveaboards that were kind of under the table, so they got eviction letters. So I don't know if they got evicted as a liveaboard or if they got evicted as a boat as well. So um, it was a beautiful day here. I'm gonna go check the boat. Hopefully, it's still float. Drum roll, are the screens there? Yep. Wow. Shocking. We're just checking up on the boat here. First thing to check is the screens. Yes, I know this one screen is a little short, ran out of material. I have to update that in the spring. However, the rest of them stayed on the boat in front facing winds last night of about 50 miles an hour. So I'm actually pretty uh, happy with that. So. Next thing is to do is just check on the boat, check the lines, be good to go. Make a quick trip, flush the water maker while we're here, and uh, call it a day. Hey, okay, so we're on the boat checking things out. Looks pretty good. Well, luckily it was pretty dry last night, a lot of wind, but that's about it, not too much rain. And a little moisture here, we'll wipe that down. A little more moisture over here, no big deal. And uh, typically we have all these tubs out collecting the rainwater as it comes in. Like we said, we need to get the bimini 
updated here. So I will go ahead and put those out and uh, we'll flush the water maker. And I think that's about all we had to do today. So everything else looks pretty good. Beautiful day out there. Wouldn't it be a bad day to go boating? It's a little breezy out there, but overall the water's pretty calm. Lots of sailboats out there taking advantage of the wind. One of the things we don't like around here are the seagulls. They love to roost on everybody's bimini tops. Here you got a guy eating, eating a poop, and I'm sure on top of his bimini, making a total mess. You enjoying a crab? Yeah, fresh seafood. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Another thing we like about Elliott Bay Marina, though, is um, one of the things our neighbors do is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but up on the hill, um, the one house up there is always flying a flag. Right now they're flying the 12 flag in honor of the Seahawks in the playoffs. So, but what's nice about it is it sits up nice and high. So quick peek at that when we're coming into the marina or leaving the marina, you can see what the winds are doing. Cause sometimes down here at marina level, it's a little more sheltered and you feel like it's really calm, but then you actually look up at the flag and you can kind of see what direction it's coming from. And it really helps when you're docking uh, to know how you're going to be fighting the wind as you come into your slip. So thanks guys up there on the hill. What are you doing? I'm looking at the storyline. So that's not going in this. Okay, so I guess we're going to go to the grocery store, our exciting thing that we do every Saturday. And Even we... though it's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Go ahead. That was going to be just kind of a nice little... So we're heading out to the grocery store. How exciting. It's the thing I hate to do the most. And uh, we're going to... Scott's going to come with me. It's one of our New Year's resolutions, as you know, is to save money. And so we are going to attempt to buy groceries uh, for about $13 a day. We'll see. That would be about 100 bucks. So this is Seattle. Um, I tried to make the menu as simple as possible. It includes six days worth of meals because we're not going, we're not eating out anymore either. So we'll see uh, how that goes. Cool. Are you taking your little red red wagon? Yes, I'm taking my red wagon, which we use everywhere. This is great. It's our little dock wagon. We use it for the dock mostly, but we take it everywhere here. Yep. It's great for groceries, especially when you have to bring them up four stories into our condo. So it's perfect bringing stuff up from the garage. Okay. Okay. Pacific Northwest, welcome to winter. <laughs> this is what we should expect for the next three to five months. Not five months. Uh, on have, and off. We have very nice eagles in May. We can, or it can be like this. Luckily we get to pull into the garage, so we don't have to get out in the rain or anything like that. It is a little weird parking in a garage. Store, but... I love it.
sirloins. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, that's probably one of the lowest that we've done in a long time. That we had a buy one. I carry that. Out. Yeah. Buy one, get one free. We bought for more than just one day. Yeah, it's all about smart shopping when you're on a budget. It's all about looking at the better prices, better buy buy volume, that type of thing. There we go. We didn't buy any wine. And we didn't buy any alcohol this time around. So that saves you quite a bit of money, which is just 60 bucks. At least. And that's uh just bad calories too. Mm-hmm. You squeal. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> So how did we do? Let's see. Total was about 150. We did save about $51 on coupons and sale prices, so that's not too bad. So for about seven days, we came out to about 20 bucks, a little over 20 bucks so per we day. Had to buy one get one free. Yeah, exactly. So we made really a killing on buy one get one free. So really got nine days. Worth about of that. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So it did come out to about. 15 13 dollars a day so and there were a lot of you know and that comes with you know buying staples like the toilet paper and the paper towel and things that you have to do there. pardon with vitamins and you there. have vitamins and stuff so, so once you get rid of all the staples then we did a, a really good job of coming in right on budget so um this wasn't so bad we'll see if we can keep going <laughs> it's only the first week of new year's right. so but that is one resolution so far check If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, and leave your comments. We'd also love it if you'd subscribe, and if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notifications on any future episodes. Be sure to follow us on BoatingJourney.com, and also on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Boating Journey. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>